For this use case, we're adding another type of attribute for consideration, location. To begin, we're going to go back and look at that earlier email where Ann sent sample D to Dan. Remember, sample D is only meant to be viewed by users with a top secret clearance, a membership in the Tiger community of interest, and while in the US. And so if a user tries to access this file, even though they may be a member of the Tiger community of interest or the top secret clearance, they're not going to be able to use it when they're not in the US. And so let's jump back and we'll see Anne. And so here we see where she sent this email and it got denied to Bob and Chris, but Dan did get the message. And so if we go down here and log in as Dan in Canada outside the US, you can see that he did get this message and there's the sample D attachment. But if he tries to open this file, you see he gets this message saying that he's been denied access because he's not in the US. But if we go up here and have Dan log in to a workstation in the US, you'll see his same inbox here with the same message. But if he double clicks on this attachment, it opens because he's now in the US and is otherwise qualified to view the content. And so we can see how location can be used as a valuable attribute when determining access. And so we're now going to take a look and see how SharePoint is another option for sharing these files. And so we'll log back in here as Anne, and we see when Anne is logged in, she sees all the demo files, A through E, and the attributes associated with them. But for example, when we go down to see Dan, and he looks at the same document library, from outside the US, he only sees these two files, the unclassified file and the secret file that didn't have a restriction for location. However, if we go back to Dan and the library in the US, you'll see that he also now sees the sample D file while he's in the US. And so we can see how even using SharePoint to distribute the files, we can still manage access and make sure that using a data-centric approach only allow authorized people access to the files.